In the last video, I demonstrated a very compact McPherson strut suspension I developed, and this video is about me implementing it into a chassis. So this chassis is some sort of uh, BMW, that's all I know for sure. We've got a straight six up front, rear wheel drive, we've got McPherson struts in the front, and a double wishbone independent suspension in the rear. So it could be a three series, a one series, um, really that doesn't particularly matter. What this was more an exercise of is just getting the most functionality into a relatively compact chassis like this. So starting off with that important front suspension, you can see I've just used the uh, suspension that I developed in the last video, and um, it still works very nicely incorporated into a chassis. It's responsive, the steering works well, and I think it even looks quite good. And then in the middle, there's enough space for a straight six engine, which works very nicely. It's connected to the rear wheels. The rear suspension is very similar to the one that I've used on some other models, where we've just sort of floated the differential in place and sort of kept it in place with a bunch of pieces, but the axles aren't actually going through any axle holes. It works very nicely. The, the one change that I've made here is that rather than using a full strut, I've just put a spring in between these two pins and uh, that makes this whole assembly here much more compact and it works very nicely and we've also got an anti-roll bar. Behind the engine is a simple automatic transmission with drive, neutral and reverse. That's all I could fit into such a compact space. You can see this set of bevel gears reverses the direction and that's how we're able to have reverse versus forward. Well that about wraps it up for this model. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.